Okay, so today I'm gonna to show you guys one of my favorite desserts. It's considered an S, so it's high fat, and it is really one of my favorite things to keep in the refrigerator and have for like those days when I'm feeling that sugar monster come on and I'm like, I have to eat, or the family's eating cookies, or they're having ice cream, and I'm tempted to eat along with them. It's nice to have these in the refrigerator for after dinner. Uh, I don't have any issues with needing sugar during the day or anything. I just struggle with it mainly when the sun goes down and I don't know if it's the time of year also, like it's winter, I'm not outside as often, it's cold, and at nighttime I just wanna eat, and it's terrible, and I don't wanna eat the things that I should eat, and I went through this phase where all I wanted was salty food, but lately I'm going through this phase where all I want is sugary food, and I think some of it may be hormonal, but regardless, I needed to find a way that I could combat those nighttime sugar cravings, you know, because obviously it's not good to eat sugar right before bedtime or even in the nighttime for weight, but it's really not good for our blood sugar levels when we're trying to go to sleep and we're trying to rest our minds. Our body can't shut down and be still and be quiet, so you're not gonna get the good restful sleep that you really need for good optimal health. So I hope that you guys love these as much as I do. Please let me know in the comment section below if you plan on making these or if you've made them, what you think of them. And um, if you want any of these ingredients that I'm gonna show you guys today, just check the link in the description below. But no, up front, you guys do not have to have the Trim Healthy Mama brand products. I do have some of the Trim Healthy Mama brand products that I use pretty frequently and that I really like and I'm gonna stick to using. And then there's other things that Trim Healthy Mama has that I've been using that once I run out of it, I'm just gonna use a different brand at the store because it's more convenient. Trim Healthy Mama's products though are incredibly affordable for the most part. There's a few things that are a little bit higher than I would spend, but it's really comparable to anywhere you're gonna go for like your sweeteners and your mineral salt and peanut powder, things like that. So I really love the product so far and I've been using them on and off for about a month and I went through a phase where I didn't do anything healthy for myself, you know, during the holidays and it wasn't because of the holidays, like most people say, well, I just gained 10 pounds because I ate everything because of the holidays. I just didn't care about what I was eating or how much I was moving or how much I was sleeping or what I was drinking. I didn't care because I was really struggling with grief and I just kind of went through this numb season for like two, three weeks maybe and I just didn't care about anything including my diet or exercise or health or any of that stuff. I was just trying to, to breathe. So if you guys want to hear about all that, you can watch some of my prior videos where I shared about what was going on and, and the loss and, and how I've been dealing with that. But I am doing much better if you guys are wondering. I'm doing much better things are kind of starting to even out and I'm very thankful for that and now I'm like okay it's time it's time to get back on to doing what I know that I need to do for my health and Trim Healthy Mama is helping me do that so um, I want to share with you guys in some future videos too some things that I've been thinking about some things that I've been discovering about myself pertaining to health and weight gain and weight loss I'm gonna be sharing those things so you guys make sure that you're subscribed to my channel because there's so many things that God has really been revealing to me about my own personal personal story, my own personal journey that I want to share with you guys. Not today though, because today we're going to be making cookies, but another day I'm going to sit down and I'm going to chat with you about some things that have been just going on inside of me. So I'm still kind of working those things out, but I'm going to share some revelations that I've had about why I don't necessarily always treat my body kindly and why you may not be experiencing the long-term weight loss and the health that you are really looking for. So you guys stay tuned for that. And if you are somebody that comes in and checks out this channel pretty frequently, just make sure that you're subscribed. A lot of you guys may not even know that you're not subscribed. So just go ahead, go down there, check that little red subscribe button. If it's red, that means you're not subscribed. Click it. If it's grayed out, that means you are subscribed. Yay. That's awesome. Click that little notification bell right next to that so that you guys will be notified first when I upload new content here on this channel. And I really am excited about some stuff coming out in the near future. I'm going to be doing some giveaways and just blessing my audience for just hanging out here with me and encouraging me. There's so many of you guys on here that just encourage me a ton. So I just love you guys. Thank you so much. So let's go ahead and start making these cookies. The recipe that I'm going to show you guys makes 18, but you can totally double this. And I did double this one time during our holiday season when I had to go to a family gathering and I don't know about y'all, but like there's a family member that brings those 
no bake peanut butter chocolate cookies to every family gathering and they're so delicious you want to eat like the entire plate but you know it's not really good for you so i decided instead of being tempted with those and this was at thanksgiving time sometime i decided to make like the trim healthy mama version of these no bake cookies and i brought those so i doubled the recipe and they came out really really delicious everybody loved them this is a really inexpensive creation but i do want to let you guys know you can totally overdo it with these cookies too if you're like eating you know four or five or six of them so they're so good but they're filling so you probably won't but if you're somebody who struggles with like not knowing when to you know stop eating the good stuff maybe just kind of put them out of sight in your refrigerator so that uh, you have to remember where they are and kind of work to get to them just don't put them like right in front of your face I made that mistake and I ate way too many like the first time that I made them because they were so good and then I learned my own lesson okay so anyway okay you guys before I get started I do want to share with you about the coconut flakes you guys can use the big coconut flakes like these or you can use just the smaller shredded coconut flakes from like wherever grocery store you use I do find it harder to come across these bigger coconut flakes that I'm gonna be using today. This is the first time I'm actually making this recipe with these big coconut flakes. And this is the Bob's Red Hill brand. I actually found these at Big Lots for $4. Y'all can see the price tag is still right there on the bag. So for $4, I got this whole bag I actually bought them out. I didn't just buy this bag. I bought like all of the bags that they had because these coconut flakes are expensive in my opinion. Not even kidding you. I couldn't find a bag of these for less than $12. So, uh, and that was like health food stores and places like that. And even online, they're not very cheap for the big ones. So coconut's not very inexpensive to begin with, but you can find this brand at Walmart. It's just the organic brand, the great value organic brand, and it's unsweetened coconut flakes. That's the little shredded kind you guys can see those like through that little thing right there somewhere around four dollars a bag and um, I was buying a couple at a time so still affordable there but I was really wanting to try them with the big coconut flakes so I'm really excited to see how these turn out because this is actually what they call for and make sure just a little note with these coconut flakes that you're getting the unsweetened brand not the sweetened brand be sure to read where it says right here unsweetened so a lot of times I'll pick up the wrong ones and I have to put it back so all right, you guys, I'm gonna start off by just telling you up front what I did wrong in this recipe, and you'll see here in a little while what I mean. They still turned out tasting delicious, but I should not have warmed up that coconut oil for 30 seconds. I should have probably warmed it up for maybe 15 seconds, just enough to soften it. I probably shouldn't have made it a liquid. So I would recommend that you start by trying just to soften your coconut oil instead of actually making it a liquid because later on I kind of had a little bit of a mess but it was okay like we just pulled off the little pieces that kind of melted around it and everybody just ate those little shards of chocolate so it turned out great anyway and they were still pretty but when I do it again I'll make sure that I don't melt that coconut oil down so much and if you guys are wondering why I'm measuring out everything exactly it's because I mess things up when I don't so I measure every Everything out exact and I know that I have a teaspoon in my hand and I have another teaspoon in my hand but it just tends to work out where I put it into the actual measuring spoon and I know that I know I'm doing the right thing so you guys just bear with me when you're watching these videos if you're like one of those amazing people who can just eyeball stuff I am not and then I'm using gentle sweet gentle sweet is awesome I didn't realize this until I just recently purchased my very very first bag of it and I'm very glad that I did. I have been using the Super Sweet and I just recently started using Gentle Sweet because I went to the Trim Healthy Mama store in Nashville and if you guys haven't watched that video you go check that out but I just needed a little bit of Gentle Sweet for a specific recipe that called for it and I think it was like the chocolate pie I think anyway but I didn't have any gentle sweet and I used super sweet and it didn't come out so good but I used super sweet and everything else so using the gentle sweet actually end up liking it a lot better in this recipe so if you want you can just get like I think it's xylitol and urethrol I might be saying that wrong anyway you guys can totally get whatever sweetener you want as long as it's sugar free and I do want to make sure that I'm being clear when I'm using any of my products they are sugar free so the peanut butter is sugar free 
free and you guys would be surprised to check the peanut powders in the store if you are buying your peanut powder from like Walmart where I do most of my grocery shopping because that's the closest place to me there's sugar in almost all of that stuff so make sure that you guys are looking for sugar-free options and getting those So while I finish putting the cookies on the pan here and getting ready to put them in the freezer, they usually only take about 10 minutes to freeze or so, and then you can take them out, let them thaw out just a little bit, and they're ready to go. But while I'm doing all that, I wanna share with you guys about an amazing addition to my healthy lifestyle routine. It's called Java Burn. If you know me, you know I love my coffee, and now I can increase both the speed and efficiency of my metabolism by adding Java Burn to my morning coffee. This tastes free, instantly dissolvable packet of Java Burn helps me to have sustained energy throughout the day without that second or third cup of coffee, unless I really just want one. I use this to help me fight those afternoon munchies as well. So it has no stimulants of any kind, which is really important to me since I can't have those. It's non-GMO, gluten-free, and best of all, manufactured right here in the United States. I love supporting products made in the US, and if you want more information about Java Burn and to find out how you can get it for up to 80% off, check out the link in the description below.